on Chapter 6, Lesson 4. In the direction state, write the number as a product of its prime factors. Here I want to go through a little bit of vocabulary before actually doing the lesson. That way you can see what they're asking us to do. So, write the number, and for number 1 they're saying 18. So write 18 as a product of its prime factors. First off, we need to know what the word product means. Product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So they want to know, they want the answer to be 18. The word factors here is telling you the numbers that you multiply in order to get that product. So for instance, the numbers 2 times 5 equals 10. 2 and 5 are the factors. And the product is 10. And so if you're asking for the number and its factors, 10 is the product and its factors are 2 and 5. Another way to get 10 would be 1 times 10 equals 10. And here, these are factors that get to the product. The important part about this lesson is that they're asking for prime factors. And so we need to know what prime means. I'm going to give it a little chart here. These are prime numbers and these are not prime. Um, I'm just going to say not prime because they don't have the word here, but they're composite numbers. The numbers 2, 5, 7, 11, 13 are prime. Numbers that are not prime include the numbers 4, 12, 21, um, and so forth. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. What do you think makes a number prime, and what do you think um, makes a number not prime? Okay, well now I'm going to tell you the answer. The prime numbers are when you have only one times itself in order to get to that number. So here are factors. If the only factors of that number are one and itself, then it is prime. For example, to get to five, one times five equals five, that is the only way to get there, using one and itself as its factors. You can't multiply by two or three or four. Same with 7. You could only do 1 times 7, 11, 1 times 11, 13, 1 times 13 to get to those individual numbers. However, if a number is not prime, then not only can you do 4 is 1 times 4, but it's also 2 times 2 equals 4. So here it's not prime because now we have another factor, the number 2, to get to 4. For 12, we have quite a few. We not only have 1 times 12, but we have 2 times 6 will get us to 12. 3 times 4 will get us to 12. And so here, we not only have 1 and 12 as the factors, but 2 and 6 are factors that you can multiply to get 12. 3 and 4 are factors that you can multiply to get 12. Um, same with 21. Just because the number is odd does not mean it's not a factor. Um, it's not, I'm mean, not factor. It's, it does not mean it's not prime. To get to 21, not only can we do 1 times 21, but we could do 3 times 7. So since we could do 3 times 7 equals 21, those factors are of 21. That being said, now let's start going into what the directions was at. We're at the direction state. It said, write the number as a product of its prime factors. So what they want us to do is they want us to take that number and find the factors to get that. But at the end of the answer, they only want those numbers to be prime. And so we're going to start with something called a factor tree. A factor tree will start with the number, the product, at the top. And below it will be the factors that we multiply, because a product is the answer to a multiplication problem, to get to that prime factor. If you know your multiplication tables and you've mastered them, your basic math facts, this uh, lesson will be a cinch for you. If you haven't, I will teach you how to use our cheat sheet to get to the answers, but I highly recommend and stress to really get a foundation on the, these math facts. Um, but in the meantime, here's how to use our cheat sheet. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to get to 18. So we're going to be looking at the red numbers and the place where we see 18. So looking over here, I see 18 is here. 2 times 9 equals 18. And so on the factor tree, I'm going to put the number 2 times 9 equals 18, 2 times 9. 
the factor tree, the most important part of the factor tree is that you only branch out two at a time. So you only go one, two. What two numbers gets to that one number on top? So two times nine gets to 18. Are there any twos that are in the reds other than two times one? So here I find a two, but it's two times one. So that doesn't really count. Um, and I'm looking through and I don't see any twos. And what that means is that two is a prime factor. The only way to get to two is using two times one. Therefore, I'm gonna circle it because it is a prime factor. It is a prime number, no other numbers can work. However, the nine isn't done yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through the nines. Look for a nine in the reds. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, nope. Zero, three, nine, six. Oh, there's a nine. Three times three equals nine. So nine is not a prime number because there's two numbers, three times three, that helps us get to that nine. As I said, you only wanna branch off one, uh, two times for each one number. Now we look for the threes. Is there three anywhere other than three times one? There's no other three. Three is a prime number. So we can circle the three, and again circle the three. And so our final answer is going to be the numbers that we circled, the prime numbers, in that order. 2 times 3 times 3. Now, I would like you to write them out, and then I'd also like you to write them out from least to greatest in terms of value. So I want the 2s before the 3s. And last but not least, even though the equation doesn't ask us to do this or the directions, I also want you to get used to doing exponents. And exponents are when there's a little number floating on the top. And the way that exponents works is that if there's a number being repeated, you will have an exponent. So here, there's only one two. So we're gonna keep it at two times. And here you can see you have two threes. And so I'm gonna put a big three here, which is called the base number. This is the number we're repeating. And we're repeating three, one, two times. So our exponent, the small number, is gonna be a two. So it's gonna be two times three squared, or two times three to the second power, or two times three times three. These are all the same right answer. But at the end of the day, this is the number 18 as a product of its prime factors. This is the equation to get to this product, and these are all prime factors. I'm gonna show you one more example with the number 24. Oh, actually, before I show you another example, you might say, hey, Ms. Tolentino, there's another way to get to 18. And I'm gonna show you that there are different steps and they're both correct, or they're all correct, as long as you would derive to the same answer. So if you look at your cheat sheet, you'll notice 18 over here as well. And we did three times six equals 18. So if I were to do the factor tree, I could even do three times six equals 18. And even though these are different ways to get the answer, they'll answer uh, the answer will end up being the same. As we found out earlier, three is a prime number, we could stop there but six is not. If you look around here, six is the product of two times three. So the factors two times three will get us to six, and two is a prime number, three is a prime number. And so you'll see that we have the numbers three times two times three. What I would like you to do is write them in order. So I want the two first, then you can have the two threes. And then again, as an exponent, for the same exact reason as over here. But you'll see that we'll always derive at the same answer, um, even if there are different ways to do it. So if you're looking at a friend's work and it looks different than yours, um, it might be just that they use two different factors to begin the factor tree. So let's do the number 24. And again, there'll be two ways to do it. So I'm going to look for the first way. And I'll be looking for 24 in the red section. What two numbers multiply to get to 24? If you know your math facts, this lesson is gonna be a whole lot easier, but if not, you could use your cheat sheet and look for a red 24. Um, and here it is, three times eight. Three times eight equals 24. And three is a prime number, so we could circle it, we're done. But eight is not. Let's go look for the eight somewhere. There it is. Two times four equals eight. We know that two is a prime number, but four is not. Let's look for the four. Two times two equals four. 
And now the twos are primes and we're done. So for this one, you could see we have three times two times two times two. And it's easiest if you circle when you hit a prime number so you don't lose any numbers. And then we want to write it in ascending order, which means least to greatest. So we're going to do 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Once we write it in ascending order, least to greatest, we're going to write it as an exponent. So the number 2 is being repeated. So the 2 is the base number, it's the big one, and it's being repeated 1, 2, 3 times. From there, the 3 is not being repeated, so we could just times it by 3. That's all we're doing for the factor tree. I want to do the number 24 again, and this time I'm going to use a different math fact to begin with. So I'm going to look for 24 somewhere else. Oh, there it is. 4 times 6 equals 24. 4 I found over here, and it's 2 times 2. And 2's are prime numbers. 6 is right over here, 2 times 3. 2 and 3 are prime numbers. And so here you get 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And so you could do 2 to the 3rd times 3 since it's already in ascending order. So that's how to do prime factorization. Um, I'm not really going to help you too much on the problem solving, only because I really want to see how you work with this chart. And there's only 8 problems on this paper. Um, so for reasons that I want to see you starting to apply the word problems on your own and this one not being a picture box in terms of part, part, whole, um, I'm going to see how you do with chart solving. But please do know expression is looking for like the equation. And then what missing number um, is going to be more of the product itself. So hopefully that kind of helps. But good luck with 7 and 8 and I'll go over it during class tomorrow if needed. All right.